Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live for Be A Pro Korea. And the season started off so well. <laughs> we had a good solid win in round one, but we have got uh, we got a fight back on our hands. We've lost three in a, three in a row now, taking on the Mackay Cutters in, uh, in round five of the season. Um, last game we should have won. It just, at the momentum just swung. It just swung badly and we got absolutely mowed down at the end as we look at uh, their team. David Mead, Jordan Pereira, Blake Austin in the house, Davida Pengai Jr., Senamata Saar. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> well, well, well. It's not going to get any easier for us. That is, that is for darn sure. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Hopefully, Simon Mentoring is back into the back into the team, which he is. But this, yeah, this is going to be tough. Blake Austin and Pengai Junior, the two, the two absolute danger men. Um, and then the wingers. I mean, David Mead is an absolute gun. I've always loved Mead. And then, I mean, Jordan Pereira. I, I think he's a very good winger as well, dude. So, yeah, this this is going to be a tough one. I felt like. Uh, I mean, last game, it was sort of pretty even. No real stars in either team, but I think we played... Honestly, we're probably the better team for the most part, but the two games before, they had a couple of standout players and, yeah, just that uh, probably experience and, and, and star quality got them over the line. So this one, you know, we just got to... Uh, we just got to control possession, and that is a beautiful ball. Grieve through the gap, pass it back... Ooh, that's a nice start to the game. But, yeah, we just got to control the footy, control possession, and just not let the cutters get into the game, basically. That's the only way we're going to win this game is a uh, nice ball across there, but good, solid defense from the cutters. Four tackles, still a chance here. Going out right, beautiful ball again. But, again, the, the wing... I mean, our wingers are a bit... Actually, no, we got Justin Olam. Um... So he's still going to be a factor, but this right side wing is is a bit of a bit of a nothing type play, and then we give away the high tackle off that, so that's not a good, uh, not good at all. And then Sadamata Saar, he was, dude, Saar was such a good player for the Roosters back in the day. He was honestly, my memory of Saar probably. Oh my goodness, that is not what we needed. The kick goes up. Oh, and Bonnet, it comes off the crossbar. Oh, that is just devastating. He gets it just inside the dead ball line as Bambling is going to look to take this conversion. Oh, we need to just, this game, we just need things to go our way and, you know, things to go right. That is, that's just awful. And then on the back of that, Tyrell is going to score down this left-hand side. They had us a little bit shot and just the one-on-one -on -one missed tackle. All of a sudden, the, the cutters are looking to go up 12 points to zip in uh, in the first 20-odd minutes here. And we had the running in the first 5 or 10 as Bambling uh, does swing that one back somehow. I don't know how that made the distance. <laughs> but um, Sedaman Asad, dude, I, I think he was probably the best offloader in the game. Um... Maybe, I mean, you'd probably still say Sonny Bill was the best offloader, but Sadamata Asar, dude, just ridiculous. Um, I remember <laughs> I remember a game vividly uh, where he got this just ridiculous offload away and, like, did his shoulder, and I felt, I, this, might, this might be incorrect, but I felt like that was, like, his last sort of stint in the NRL. I felt like after that injury, he never really came back I might be completely wrong about that but that's sort of the last memory I've have of him is him getting away this like freakish flick pass and like landing on his landing on his shoulder badly is we are going to uh we are going to hit, hit back here which is very very handy <laughs> um a little bit of possession a little bit of running and that's a big try before the halftime break as uh, we're going to look to make it a six point game but yeah, that's that's the last memory I have, and he was just a ridiculous offloader, just, just, just crazy, crazy the pass he got away. But yeah, um, very, very good player, very good player. Uh, but yeah, just before the halftime break, a minute to go. We're looking, you know, I had to go for it, had to go for a, a sneaky forty twenty, try to get one last crack on their line as Jordan Pereira just can cannot be tackled there but he just does finally get brought down so yeah 12 a 12 6 score line i feel like it's probably pretty fair i felt like we were pretty decent in the first half but the cutters obviously 
you know, little 15, 20 minute burst from them and they, they got a couple of tries, but we, we, we dug in, we dug in there for sure as uh, they do get a chance on the back of uh, the second half here to, to post some more points. Thankfully, Austin got held up with it, so Pengai Jr. is thankfully getting wrapped up as well. He hasn't been a huge, honestly, Austin and Pengai haven't been a massive, um, a massive issue in this game so far. The other players are sort of a sort of running riot as well. They're just making such easy ground. <laughs> we just, our forward pack just cannot match the cutters forward pack and they're just, they're just rumbling up the field as they go right here. Beautiful play. I mean, what, what could we do? <laughs> we just, nothing we can do. They just march down the field. Nice little ball here. Gets it onto the center nice and quick and just the one-on-one the -on -one missed tackle. Nice bit of footwork and, and Atherton is going to score their third try of the game as Bambling is going to look to swing this one back, which he does to make it a 18 point to six ball game here. Um, yeah, we, we got to try saying we tried a little, little kick into the in behind. Unfortunately, Farley is there to swoop on it and he's going to march down the field as well. So, I mean, if, you know, a little bit of a risky play. I mean, but the time it's ticking, I mean, it's still 20 minutes, but it goes quickly. So I feel like we had to try something pretty quick to try and wrestle back this momentum as uh, they swing it across field here. Bambling gets wrapped up on fifth and last. So look for. Look for Austin out on this left-hand left hand side, but they're not even going to need him. Brown is going to just sneak into the end goal there. A little bit of a trick play on the last tackle. Nick Brown, oh man, it's getting to a bit of a bit of a blowout at this point. And, you know, it's sort of, it's what I was talking about at the start. We just needed, we needed the possession. We needed the, the field territory and we needed things to go away. And, you know, pretty much from that initial kick, the initial kick that hit the crossbar and they got the try it was it was pretty much downhill from that that point um just couldn't get back into this contest just too much possession for the for the cutters and yeah they they looked a little bit uh a little bit uh, a little bit too good for us at this stage so you know it is what it is we can't we can't be too disappointed though uh with with this contest um the scoreline's not good but <laughs> There's a little chip into the end goal. He's going to, unfortunately, drop the pill, though. Well, hopefully we can just finish this game off uh, off strongly. Although it looks like it's not going to happen. Kepper is going straight through the defense. Oh, my goodness gracious. The the bench forward has just burned everyone. That is, it's crazy. The cutters are going to absolutely roll us here in a massive victory. I... I <laughs> You know, is it, at least the, the the good part is that we weren't, you know, it's not a devastating loss. It's not like we lost by a point at the end of the match. Although, a thumping like this is probably not great. And then Barrera out of dummy half. Oh, no. <laughs> He's gone straight through. Oh, my. Credit to the cutters, dude. They they played for the full 80 minutes um, and just blown us off the park. That was... I mean, granted, I was being a little bit lazy because I thought last play of the game, I don't want to fatigue. And he's just, he's just attacked where we probably should have been standing. I tried to get across and that was, that was shut the gate. So a 36 to 6 scoreline, that is a thumping. But I mean, they, they were a good team. <laughs> we just didn't have the possession. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment and I'll see you in the next one.